Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for the 12th to the 19th of August. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what is going on for you this week. Whether you are new or returning, massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope that you click subscribe and become a part of our collective. Oh my God, Becky. Okay. Which one of you is it? Okay. Well, so, mm, this could have to do, okay, I'm going to say this. If this resonates for you with love, then this is your love message. Okay. And if this resonates with you around your career and your finances, uh, then that's going to be th that. Those are the two like very, very prominent themes. And I almost want to say that I see them interwoven, which means that like they, they somehow correlate with each other. So this could be an office romance. This could be you afraid of love because you don't feel financially secure or financially stable. This could be a love situation that has been delayed for a very long time because of your focus on your work and your career and your finances. Okay. Like it's like an accumulation of all of these things together, but holy, just buckle up, put your seatbelt on, click, click, click. Or is it click, click, click? I don't know. Depends, I think, on if you're driving. Put it on this way, right? Yes. Okay. Get in your vehicles and uh, let's get ready for, let's get ready to rumble. Oh my God. Okay, ready? So here we go. We have denial as your mantra card and it says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Then we have a repressed desires and Lilith. Lilith in astrology is the th things that we want. Sorry. What, what are they doing? There's an ambulance like behind my house, but they're in a parking lot. Hopefully everybody's okay. Okay, so repressed desires is all about the things that we seek, the things that we lust after, the things that bring us joy, bring us peace, bring us happiness, but also the things that we are feeling like we can't have, like it's taboo. You get what I'm saying? And then we have earth school, life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. So I reckon if I was a betting girl, which I'm not, that for those of you that are watching this, you have had your eyes either on a opportunity that's going to bring you more financial stability, more financial security, or on a romantic situation that you have been wanting to start, but you've been like, right? So regardless of whether this is love or romance, or this is career, or it's like interwoven together, like, do I pick my career? Do I pick romance? Or like, I have a crush on this person I work with. Do I go after them? Like, you know, all those things are all, those are all the possibilities. Okay. Regardless of whatever they are. Okay. These, this, this thing um, comes to head this, um, this week in a, in a way, um, that is jarring. Okay. And I think a lot of this has to do because of the resistance that's been happening. I don't know where you're at mentally, emotionally. I feel like a lot of you have been really wanting to cultivate and create a lot of stability, a lot of security, a lot of good financial backing before you can take whatever next step you're taking in your life. But then there's also this thing of like, you can't wait until the perfect time. Like, okay, let me give you an example of this, okay? You know how a lot of guys are like, oh, or girls are like, oh, I wanna have all this money in my bank account before I get married, or oh, I wanna have all this, th this financial opportunity. I wanna do this, when I have this, then I'll have that. You know that famous line, when I have this, then I'll have that. Like, when I have the money, then I'll be happy. When I have this, then I'll be able to date. When I do this, da 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 da. Here's the thing. Do I agree with that? To a degree, yeah, absolutely. I don't think that you should be um, heavily involved with anybody if you are not in the right mind space. But to say that you aren't working towards something and maybe it hasn't reached this accumulation and because it hasn't reached accumulation, you shouldn't date, I think that's wrong also. Okay. Like we're not looking for, you know, Betty builders, none of that stuff. We're not looking to like do that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, 
when love presents itself to you, how much are you going to allow your ego to stop you from welcoming in this connection? Or if this is financial in nature, how much are you going to let your ego stop you from going after this or your fears, your insecurities stop you from going after this? Because source this week, look, let me show you the cards, okay? Because I realize some of you are like, I can't see the cards. Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So here is an opportunity being presented to you. The Six of Pentacles is all about charity. It's all about balance. It's all about cultivating, creating, giving and taking, okay? And there's the giving. Right? And I think you've, you, you haven't been giving and you've got to give. You've got to give. You like her, you like him, you've got to give all that. You know? Okay? If you want the opportunity, you're going to have to apply for it. Okay? There's no way this YouTube channel would have ever gotten to where it's at if I never posted the first video, if I never gave the first video. Kabesh? Kabesh. And then the Two of Cups. Okay, this is offerings, six of wands. Don't let, l l listen to me, Linda. If this has to do with love and romance and a potential romantic partner, do not, I repeat, do not let your ego stop you from making the move. Don't do it. Make the move. Make the move so that one of two things can happen. You move forward with this person or you don't but you're not in this limbo here because the two, the six of wands and the two of pentacles tells me that like, there's a part of you that wants to make a move. And the other is like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't want to be embarrassed. I don't want it to be the wrong person. I don't want to be shut down. I don't want to be like denied. Like if they deny you, it's because God is rejecting the situation because God sees everything. You get what I'm saying? There's something juicy here, but then the tower comes in and typically I'd be like, oh, the tower is not a good thing. But the tower between the two of pentacles and the star is source is saying you got to make a choice. There is no more waiting. There is no more denying or stopping or like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Make a choice. Make a move. Okay. Make it happen. Tower the star and you're the star. So source is like step into your power, baby boo. Step into your power, Aquarius. Make, make the move, okay? Take the leap of faith, okay? Go after these things that you desire. Life lessons, brah. It's a soul growth study, higher learning, right? Right, right. That's the time we're in. That's what we got to do here, okay, Aquarius? No more dilly-dallying. All right, then we got death in your romance. We're going to move on to your love reading, okay? The sun here and the ace of swords, okay? Let me get this here. I always have to pull from this book because um, I ha the, the messages are very different. So we're diving into your love reading. <laughs> we're diving into your love reading here. And um, if you want to book a session, you want to work with me in any capacity, you want to follow me on Insta, it's in the description box below, okay? Mm-hmm. So let's see. So this card is death, okay? And it says, undying love. For those who have no regrets, nothing changes and everything changes. Maybe the wind of passions will die down, starting from scratch, eight of cups. Yeah, I feel like you guys walked away from each other and then you keep looking at each other with these yearning eyes like, did we miss out on something? Is there something unspoken that we need to speak? I mean, I probably wouldn't like launch into anything during Mercury retrograde, but who says you can't have the conversation? The lovers, okay. And then the sun. Let me get the card here. And the sun says the hour of truth. The time has come to face the truth. The things of love become clear. The light will be long lasting. Clarity, the lovers. If you have had your eye on someone, this is the week. You got to talk to them. Three of cups and the ace of swords. Yeah. And I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised. I think clarity. I think the truth. If you got Venus as your amulet, absolutely. You show up with integrity. You show up with love. Regardless of the outcome, you are going to have the answer to be able to move forward here and heal, shine your light, or begin something new with somebody. I think this person is waiting for you. I think this opportunity, if it's not a person, this opportunity is waiting for you. Why are you here? No, thank you. That's the ghost. Okay. Sorry. We have, we have a couple of ghosts that hang out in the house and they're typically really good, but sometimes they'll just like show up randomly. Um, Raven's sleeping. So the ghosts don't typically come when Raven's here, but yeah. Anyways, it's somebody younger. Okay. It almost makes me feel like, um, like a teenager, like a girl teenager. Okay. 
Um, I want to call them a child, but they're a little bit older than a child. Like I would say like 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, if any of you had had a, a sister, a sibling, okay, God forbid any of that stuff. Okay, pass, pass on at that age. Uh, definitely, definitely here. Uh, chewing gum. Yeah. Okay, anyways. So let's go on. Uh, yeah, just go back to the light. So my advice here for you, absolutely. This is, you can't be afraid anymore. Okay, you got to take this leap of faith. You got to make a decision here in this connection. And I honestly feel like at the end of the day, these words need to be spoken, whatever the outcome may be. And this is the time to make it happen for you. Okay, I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. Like I said, you want to book a session with me, you want to work with me in any capacity. It's in the description box below Aquarius. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. And if that was your family that has passed on that came to visit, um, please know that they are at peace. They are still being obnoxious. Okay. I don't think that's a bad thing at all because they're laughing. All right. I think it's a funny thing. All right. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. I'm never changing. She said, okay, we will see you later. Alligator. Peace out. Bye.